Geocaching. You get outside, discover new places, and have fun while doing it. But what is it exactly? Well, I'll tell you in just a moment. Geocaching is a worldwide scavenger hunt that hides other caches from other geocachers. It's a secret world that people don't realize that they're living in. For example, a person could be walking, playing, or sitting near a geocache and not know it. The best example I can give you is that it's similar to the Harry Potter world where there are muggles, which are the non-geocachers, and that there are witches and wizards, which are the geocachers. Now these caches come in different shapes and sizes and they can be cleverly hidden or camouflaged depending on the difficulty level of a particular cache or if the person who had hid that cache wants to really test your skills. Now caches can be made from anything, uh, different shapes and sizes that I mentioned earlier. For example, I have a vitamin bottle that I've used up and I could actually make this in the cache to look like this. I use camo tape and this would be considered um, a small cache. They come from nano, micro, small, medium, large, and then extra large. And this one, usually every cache will have a log depending on the type of cache it is because there's a lot of different kinds. And so you would take this physical log to show that you've actually found it and you would write your name on it. So what do you need to do to start playing? Well, you need to sign up with a geocaching website and make a username. So this username is what you would be using to write on the paper logs to prove that you've actually found the caches. And so this is very important. So make sure you choose your username carefully because you're gonna be using it forever. You can't really change it, so be careful what you choose. You will also need a cell phone with the geocaching app this is what you would use to log your finds digitally and also to find caches in your area, locate them, and then navigate to them as well. Okay, another option to find geocaches is to use a handheld GPS. Now, I like to use this one because I find it's more accurate when it's trying to locate geocaches. You can use your phone, that's not a problem, but I find that when you're trying to locate it, it might not be that accurate. What you're gonna to have to do in the geocaching world is what we call use your geosense. So when you do enough caching, when you find enough caches, you kind of develop um, a kind of sense of where someone would hide a geocache. And sometimes it's not really, you don't really need to get to ground zero on your GPS to find the cache that you're looking for. But again, it's really up to you and what you already have. You do not have to have the handheld. It just depends if you really want to be accurate and try and fi find it right away. Another option to add to your arsenal is to use a car GPS if you have one. Uh, for example, I go traveling a lot, different provinces and different cities, so if I want to geocache in the particular that I'm, uh, area that I'm at, and I have my car, and I find that there's geocaches like way off in the distance, and I really want to try and get it, I, try, I use my car GPS to get me there as close as possible, and then I move on to either my handheld GPS or my cell phone. Either one works, but again, you don't have to have the car GPS. It's just something if you already have, it does make life a lot easier if you're driving to the, it makes life easier if you're trying to drive to the location that you're looking for. And the final thing that I highly recommend that you bring is a geo bag or any kind of backpack really. Uh, make sure that you have water, sunscreen, uh, snacks, just depending if you're going to go on a long one. Depends where you are, really. You could be in the forest or you can be in the city. Either way, it's just great to have a bag. Uh, personally, I got to make sure that I have my pen or pencils. I do bring tweezers with me because sometimes, depending on the geocache size, it's a little bit difficult to try and get your fingers or hands in there. So I always bring tweezers. It's surprising how uh, handy they come in. Uh, always a notebook because you never know if there's going to be a multi-cache uh, where you have to write down some more details. And there is such a thing called night caching, so having a flashlight or um, a headlamp is always great. But again, you don't have to get all these things just to play. You just really need to log on with ge the geocaching website, get a username, 
use your phone and just get out there caching. It is all free, free. I know when my friends and I travel to different places and we have some time to kill, like we're waiting for something to open, they will always ask me, hey, are there any geocaches around? Personally, I discovered new places in the city that I grew up in that I thought I explored every inch of. And that's the beauty of it. You're always exploring and discovering something new when you're geocaching. Just get out there and have some fun. If you're interested in learning more, if you want to become a geocacher yourself, check out the official geocaching website and I'll provide the link in the description below. Thanks for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you in the next one. And remember to try something new. See ya! Thank you.